Copperbelt University, in conjunction with the Ministry of Transport and Communication, has engaged itself in uh, developing the Zambia Cyber City. The Zambia Cyber City is an innovation hub for ICT. In this Zambia Cyber City, we are going to have the computer assembly for this country, and we're going to have innovation parks for this country, and we're going to have a lot of business houses in that Zambi cyber city. The purpose is to bring all the techs together and begin to manufacture ICTs so that we do not continue being a net pair of ICT but a producer of ICTs. The country has got a surrounding market to which it intends to sell some of the products that is becoming out of the Zambia Cyber City. Today, nearly every product that we get, we have to get it from outside the country. This trend has to come to an end. And as such, the Ministry of Transport is spearheading such an innovation to ensure that the country is able to sustain itself where ICTs are concerned. Copperbelt University is striving to obtain data to use during research in order to come up with predictive models and solutions to many problems and epidemics that affect human development in the country and Africa at large. As such, setting up data centers for data collection and developing deliberate software systems to help capture such information is essential. Think of a facility that is able to bring to life in 3D models all the mere thoughts of the innovators. The research facility will house research tools, supercomputers, and advanced analytical labs which will allow us to work faster, smarter, and more efficiently and yet being so precise on the results. Being in a developing nation, ICT infrastructure has major challenges ranging from high cost of equipment, software, internet and maintenance costs of the systems. With cooperating partners, it will be easy to come up with solutions in such areas as science, health, technology, peace and conflict resolution, agriculture, finance, trade and commerce, education and many others. By the year 2020, the Cyber City shall be the hub of technology, employing over 1,000 staff, 1,500 young researchers, and training over 10,000 human capital. The city will comprise, among its others, Cyber City, Data Center and Visualization Center, High Tech Center, CAD Electrical Design and Maintenance, Mechatronics, Robotics, E-Learning Center, Shopping Complexes, Cinemas, golf courses, hotels and lodges, housing, parks, warehouses, sporting facilities. ICT is indeed an enabler for any nation to get to higher heights. The Copper Belt University is determined to make this happen. Today was an interesting moment where we went to visit proposed sites. One of them is the Copper Belt International Airport. Just next to the airport, there's a 1,000 hectares of land where we propose to set up the Zambia Cyber City. This site has been proposed because of access to transportation amenities. For example, we have uh, the air, rail, and road. We further went to Lufanyama where we saw the Lufanyama District Council and they showed us the land that is allocated to the Smart City there. The Smart City plan of Lufanyama is an excellent one and would be an integration if the Zambia Cyber City would fit in in that Smart City. However, this is just a proposed site. 
the feasibility study is going to inform us which land between the two really is going to take uh, up the shore. Lastly, we came and visited the Kamfisa land. The Kamfisa land belonging to the Copperfield University is a nice showpiece as well. There it has access to road, access to rail, as well as has got an annex of rivers and water bodies and it's such a nice place to be. However, as I mentioned to say, the feasibility study, whose site visits we are doing today, is going to inform which site is going to host the Zambia Cyber City.